hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I am here at my old house and I figured I would take the opportunity to do a video real quick um, and what I am going to show you is actually a kit that is in well it will be in my Etsy store by the end of the video um, this is the preliminary part of it I have a couple tweaks that I've done um, but I just didn't print the tweaks out because it was just mainly shrinking it just a little bit to get this um, on the inside there. Because when I first done it, you can see it kind of cut it off a little bit. So that's the only difference that there is. <coughs> Excuse me. So this is like a layered flower kit. Um, this is the actual kit, but I also included one that has black outlines um, for those of you that have a brother scanning cut, so that way you can um, put it on your scanning cut. But it's real; it's just this one page, and this is what I have done. Some of what I have done with the kit, um, super cute, super adorable. So I figured, <coughs> excuse me, hang on one second, guys. Sorry, I had to go call. Um, so I figured we would get on here today and see what we can do with some of that and just show you how to use the kit. Um, I have kind of cut a few out. I don't have them all cut out and some of them are not cut out very well, but you know, it is what it is. And I apologize, you can probably hear my printer in the background because while I was here, I figured I needed to print some, um, some of my ephemera and stuff like that. So this is kind of how it looks and so there's so much you can do with this kit um and i did do mine with the black and then i didn't cut it properly but it's okay i'm not going to stress over it um because i'll just ink around it so let me move this out of the way i don't think we'll need any of that and so the kit is super easy um there's a number of different things that you can do um, you can even do this similar to those scrappy um, flowers that I made the other day where you kind of scrunch it up. Um, you don't have to do it. It looks really cute without it being scrunched, but it definitely would look cute if it was. Um, so I was just going to show you just a couple of different ideas. And now this, I did kind of pull that up a little bit. And I'll probably, you know, do that a little bit. Um, now, the next few videos that I do, they may be a little bit shorter than what my normal videos are, just simply because I'm having to do them quicker. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. We'll see how today goes. It may, it may turn out to still be about 30 minutes. Who knows at this point? Um I definitely don't have a clue. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm just trying to lay some of this stuff out. So I'll see what I have to work with. And so this is the one, this is just one page of the kit. You know, it's only a one page kit, but I didn't print it twice or anything like that. It's printed just the one time. So there are a lot of different things that we can get done with this one kit. And so I'm just doing it like this, just so that I'll kind of know what I have that I can work with. Okay, so we have that. Now do we want to go, and if this is something that I see that you guys like and enjoy, um, I will do some more of these kits, you know, with the different colors, maybe some vintage wallpapers and stuff. Um, I just didn't want to go putting a lot of time into it until I, you know, could get, um, kind of gauge what the, um, everybody's response to it, I guess you could say. Um, I just want to make sure that it's something that would, be, you know, you guys would want because it, it doesn't do me no good to create stuff if it's not something that you guys want or will enjoy. Um, so that's why. So, I mean, you see how cute this is, and I could stick a brad in here, and we may do that on one, but I'm just going to simply just glue right there in the center. Um, if you have foam tape, you could um, even put like a little square of foam tape right there to give it a little bit of a lift. 
but I'm just gonna use my glue for right now. Just glue that down and I'm just gonna hold everything, make sure it's adhered down good. And you know, after it's all good and glued down, I can come back and lift it up if I want to. Um, I don't want it to be real bulky if it's going to go into a journal. Um, so it will depend on where it's going as to what all you want to do with it. And I'm just looking to see, I have some of the liquid pearls and this is the color I used yesterday. And so we'll use some of this again today and I'm just gonna, you know, put a little pearl in the middle. Um, let's put a pearl on each one of these. You know, so there's all kinds of stuff that you can do with this. Um, and you see how cute and easy that is. And so the kit, with me having the kit like this, it just gives you something really easy and simple to work with. Um, and we can even, you know what I will do on one of these. What did I do with my, I've been printing my, um, some of the ephemera kits out of my shop today. And I just got through printing the um, the wax seals. And so I may end up putting a wax seal in the middle of one of these. So we'll see. Let me just get this inked. And again, we don't have to go with it just like this. We could put, you know, something different down. Um, you can do whatever you want to do with it. I just tried to give you a number of different things that you can use in your kit. Um, let me grab my wax seals. And as you can see, I've already, I've printed them and I've cut them and then I've got them arranged. Um, let's do, maybe let's look at one of the blue botanical ones. This is in the Trees and Roses kit. Well, that's the only one I think I have released right now, actually. I need to get the others out there because I have several kits, but I've just been such a slacker. So we could put that little wax seal right in the middle of that. That would be cute. Let's do that. So again, I'm just gonna, I mean, and you can glue the entire thing down if you want to, but there's you know, for me especially, there's no need for me to. So I just need a little bit of glue right there in that center. And again, this is something that you can, um, you can attach it together using a brad, one of the little mini brads like we used in those um, scrappy flowers. You could absolutely do that. Um, you could staple them down. Look how cute that is. Oh, wow. Okay. And then I also have some green ones of these, don't I? Where are my green ones? I don't know where my green trees are. Did I leave them in the drawer? Maybe. Yep, I did. Because the green might look good. All right, let's see. What else? Let's do a different style. Let's go, hmm, what about if we done this with this and then this? I don't know. Let's just see. Let's play around with it and see what all we can come up with. And the other thing that you can do is you can shrink these down and print them smaller um, you know, you can print like two to a page and that would turn out really cute. Um, so there's just so many different things that you can do using this kit. And I will, um, by the time this video uploads, which it's Saturday afternoon right now, and I am so late getting this video done, but I was supposed to go to, um, the horse show today, but by the time I got Etsy orders done and got some stuff done that I needed to do, it was just so late. And then today is my baby boy's 
um, 12th birthday. He's 12 today. And so his birthday party is this afternoon at um, 5. So I will be going down to my mom's, which is my other house. Oh my goodness, I cannot get this up. Um, I have to go down there. Oh my goodness, there we go. I have to go down there. Um, so yeah, it's just been, it's been a crazy day. So, um, I want to try and do a couple of videos before I have to go down there if possible. Um, just because, you know, it's crazy the way I have so much going on. And I just don't know how often I'll be able to get videos done with the way things are. And I don't know what my printer's doing. It's fussing at me for some reason. So, I don't know. But I will try to get this kit uploaded and have it uploaded by the time this video posts. So that you guys can jump on over and grab your kit like this. And you can make some beautiful little flowers as well. Do we want to put any pearls on this one? Let's see what the white pearls would look like on it. I have no idea, but we'll try it. So I'll stick one like right there in the middle. Let's do one on each one of these little things here. I don't know, we'll, we'll just play in. And I enjoy getting to play with this stuff. It's so much fun. And I don't know if you guys are the same way, but there's a lot of times, you know, when I'm trying to make stuff, it just helps me out to have a kit, even though it may be a simple project. Just to have that kit, it just gives me a little bit of the support, I guess you could say, that I need to get it done. So there's that one. I don't want to touch the pearls. Super cute. Okay, so and out of the this kit today so far, we've got three. Let's see what else can we do. We have a few more little backers and stuff here without. So if we've done that. We could do that. And then what if we done that? And then maybe, yeah, let's do that. And then we can put one of the green little wax seals. I will also link the, um, the wax seals, the faux wax seals below as well. Um, they are the, it's, um, one page, the same, it's the same pattern in four or five different colors, maybe five different colors. I'll look. Um, so it's, uh, roses and then the other part, other half of it's like trees. Um, super, super cute. I, like I said, I do have several more that are in the works and almost completed, but you know, with doing digitals, you want to, um, you really want to print everything out and just make sure that you have everything going the way that it should go. Because just like when I printed the um, the one kit out, everything looked wonderful on the screen, but when I go to print it, it was off a little bit. And so that's why I always print stuff out. Um, just to make sure. Now, you know, I could... Those are the same, about the same size, but one of my blue, the roses in the blue kit are the bigger wax seals. Let me see what that would look like. I just had a thought. And so I just have the wax seals. I literally, I just got through cutting them out. And so I just put them over into these little um, bags for right now until I can get them where I want them to go. I think that would be cute. You wouldn't see the, the rows behind it, which is fine because I'm really just wanting that blue um, base that it's on. Okay, so let's do this. Let's go ahead and put this one together. 
and you see how easy it is once you when you have something like this that you can um, use to help you um, super easy to do and I do have a kit in the works for um, like clusters um, I'm just trying to get everything um, for it that I want to put in it but it will be like the base for the clusters um, it'll be pretty much everything you need to be able to make some clusters um, I like that very much very very much look how cute that turned out okay let's see we got a couple of these left let's see what we can do with them um, again you don't have to do the same thing you don't have to use you know X number of um, pieces per you know little design you can do whatever you want to do um, just have fun with it is the biggest thing and that's all I'm doing is just it's like you know what I think I'm gonna do with that I'm just gonna do just those three you know you don't have to it's not mandatory to use three or two or four you know just do whatever you want to do and whatever you think looks good that's all that really matters is just really have fun with it um that's what i like to do because if it gets to the point that i have to start thinking too much and it becomes stressful then it then that's the day that i need to stop because for me this is like a therapy i enjoy doing this now let's let's see let's put some liquid pearls on this one so we'll put a drop in the middle and i think i'm going to maybe see how it looked to go around like each of the little petals on that middle one i don't know how it's going to look but you know what there's only one way to find out And I think it turned out cute, actually. Let me see if I can pick this up without messing up my liquid pearls. Okay, so we still have more stuff. Look at all of this, guys. From this one kit. So much that we can do. Let's see. Let's just go with that. It was laying out, so we're just going to go with it. Um, you could put like little buttons or cabochons in the middle of them. Um, it's all kinds of stuff you can do. Um, these can be used as like little um, clusters to put on your pages. Um, these would be really cute, you know, to include like in Happy Mail. You know, make the flatter they are, the better if you're going to put them in Happy Mail because the post office is totally stupid, which I will not get started on my rant today about the post office, maybe. <laughs> Although they irritate me beyond belief. And then I'm just gonna put that right there. Look how cute. All right, we have a couple more. What can we do? You know, we could. What about if we made a flower with these? I mean, you could. I'm not even going to worry with it any, anymore. Or I can, you know what? Let me just do this. And let's just do this. Let's use them up. So I'll show you what we'll do. Just because we want to use up all of it. You know, and if you, when you have the kit, you don't have to do this. It's just me being silly right now. So I'm just inking them as well as my fingers. I'm getting my fingers all good and inked. I always have ink or glue or both on my fingers. It, and it doesn't matter. I'll go clean up, wash up, and I come in here and five minutes later it's just like it was. 
but it's because I have fun doing this. So I'm just gonna, sorry guys, I know it's boring to watch me ink this, but my OCD won't let me do it without inking it. So we're almost done inking, I promise. So I hope everybody is doing okay and um, again, I apologize that I have not been able to post that many videos this last week for, you know, I had, was under the weather and then um, when I did feel like posting, it was trying to figure out um, where to film at and all in the new house with not having everything out there yet. That has been a challenge for me um, because it's, you really don't realize what all you use until you go to use it and you don't have it right there at you. And then it's like, oh, wait, where's this? And so it has, it has been quite the challenge to say the least, but you know, I'm, I will get it. If you guys will bear with me, I will absolutely get it. Um, we're hoping to actually start moving in out there next week because I really want to get started on this house as soon as possible. So it's just, you know, a matter of time. So what I'm doing, I'm just gluing all of these little bitty ones down together. And so I can use this as like a belly band in the page. You know, it's nothing spectacular, but I figured if we're using the kit, let's just go ahead and use the kit and we'll use all of it in this one video. So yeah, this will make a cute little belly band. Um, I can use it as a belly band, um, just as like a little embellishment to go on the side of a page, you know, kind of how you would do like washi tape or something. I could just um, glue this down on the side of the page. If I was going to use this for a belly band, probably what I would do would be to, um, back it on something because I don't think this would be sturdy enough to actually use as a belly band um, by itself just simply because you know it's so many little pieces there together but there we have it <laughs> did y'all see that I took that one with me did it not glue down did I not get did I glue it guys I don't know. It's acting like I didn't put glue on it. I may not have. Okay. So there you have it, guys. It's super quick, super easy. Oh, I have one little piece left. Well, I'm not going to worry about that one little piece. Okay. So out of the kit, we have made this adorable little belly band once it dries. I'm gonna leave it there for now. And then we have made, did y'all just see what I just did? Forgot all about my liquid pearls and stuck my finger right in them. Okay, so we have made all of this out of our one little kit. Um, I will make sure, well, we did use a couple of the wax seals, but I will make sure uh, to link this below. Uh, so you guys can run over there and grab your um, set of this. and. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.